I'm Buster Sharp and welcome back to the madness. Now that I got this sorting system all sorted out, it's time to finish this part of the castle. Due to a viewer suggestion, I will be doing the time lapses a little slower than normal this time. Let me know in the comments what you think. After having said more than once that uh, frog light farms aren't worth the effort, Due to something that has happened recently that I'm not going to tell you about due to spoilers, I'm actually considering making a frog light farm. I haven't decided yet, but that is one of the projects that I am considering. Uh, another one is uh, perhaps uh, making the curtain wall for our castle. Now that the castle is complete, though, like, I haven't decided even if it is complete though, so maybe I should figure that out before I do the curtain wall. You know, uh, part of me thinks that maybe I should expand it a little more, still. But on the other hand, I I'm not so sure. Like, I was thinking I could always do, like, a, uh, more floors. Like, under the, uh, under the ground. You know, dig out underneath the floor and add a section there to do my alchemy maybe or maybe like a big tower build something inside of a big tower I don't know as you can tell I'm extremely decisive <laughs> here I was trying to use white concrete and as you can see it looks like a da poo poo even the uh, actual quartz blocks doesn't look quite the same shade as the stairs for some reason but it looks a lot better than the concrete and did i mention oh my god this took a lot of quartz like a lot of quartz like oh my so much quartz i had actually had a lot of quartz from the piglin farm and still had to go back twice to the nether to get more I think the sorting system turned out pretty good, though there's still a lot of things that I'm not sorting out at all simply because there's too many variants of it, like doors and fences and uh, stairs, slabs, lots of things. You know, it would take a whole nother level just to do those things alone, so I haven't even bothered. I kind of plan to just put some chests around in the center which is why i needed to finish the uh the ceiling so i knew where everything was going to be and um, i plan to put some uh some chests in the center and just to hand sort everything that doesn't get sorted out you know part of me was like well i could always do a second level and just do more sorters but i i, I don't know i think that it sorts enough maybe i should just do the rest uh, by hand, you know, because, like, you know, it's not like it's going to be that much stuff to sort out. Uh, though there is one other thing. See, after I recorded all of this stuff, I kind of needed a break from the whole recording thing, so I wound up doing the rest of the floors in the castle off-camera, and I needed more calcite, so I wound up mining a, uh, out uh, a geode and because uh, it was like the closest one and I knew there was still some calcite there and I wound up with a buttload of amethyst shards because I got that one all set up where it blooms uh, plenty of uh, amethyst and I collected them while I was there and I decided to put them through the system to test the system and I waited and I waited and they didn't show up in the box was worrying and it took me a while to figure out where the problem was and for some reason one of the uh modules in the uh that feed into the furnaces which i think was like meant for raw meat messed up and i'm pretty sure i have the timing the same in this system as in uh the one in the gold farm so i have no idea what messed that up Maybe I somehow uh, gave the system a redstone signal by accident or accidentally dumped too much stuff into the system. But that's messed up and I still haven't gotten around to dealing with it. I like logged out that night and I still haven't been logged back in. So I'm going to have to deal with that after having finished this episode. But yeah, that's a thing and hopefully I can figure that out. 
A lot of people, Iskal from the Hermitcraft server in particular, have a lot of hate for diorite. And true, the uh, natural form does kind of look like bird poop. Really, whenever it was first uh, uh, added to the game, that's how I wound up remembering it and telling it apart from Andesite, because diorite looks like diarrhea and so on. Though I think the polished diorite actually looks pretty good. Kind of like marble. And, well... That's why I'm using it in this uh, build, that end, because, well, the uh, the quartz is really friggin' expensive and hard to obtain, and, uh, well, gas, shoot fireballs, stuff. But I think it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the last episode, I completely forgot to mention just how crazy it still seems to me that I made a sorting system this large without a single iron farm. It's kind of crazy. You know, in the past, I never would have expected that that could be even a thing. It takes a whole lot of iron to make these things. And, like, the way that generation used to be, it, like, Doing it without an iron farm was pretty much impossible. Like, oh god, it, it would have taken, like, literal whole months of just mining. Like, real world months of mining in order to get enough iron to build something like that without an iron farm. But, uh, like, yeah, I had to, like, go back uh, a couple of times and it, it cost me a couple of extra hours of mining to get the rest of the iron I needed to build this thing. Because uh, I'm mining on the level that I've been finding iron veins on. And I just went and got more iron. You know, I, it, I wound up having to find two different veins in order to finish the, uh, the sorting system. But I found them and I got the iron I needed just for mining. And, well, that's pretty badass. Like, I, I find... Mining out a uh, iron vein is pretty satisfying, especially being you can find like whole blocks of iron. Like it's not like an, a block, but it's a block of uh, of iron ore, but it's still a block of iron, and that, that it's pretty satisfying when you're you're in need of iron and you find a vein, and you start pulling out whole blocks, like nine at a time from one block. That, that, that's pretty nice. It's nice stuff. Ah. Really, uh, something that's strange is just how little automation this server has. It's not normal for me. Like, back on the uh, KingCraft server, before I even started doing YouTube, I built a, uh, a sugarcane farm inside of our base before I built the castle. Really, I think that might be what it is. It, it, like, I think it, it's partially just YouTube affecting me. Because, like, I, I used to be a very redstone-oriented guy, and I'm kind of uh, transitioning more into a builder. But also, it, it has a lot to do with it. Just that I, I don't have a whole lot of time to play Minecraft and, uh, like, editing these videos and whatnot take some of my time. So that takes away from time that I could be playing and... Uh, other things in my life, so yeah, it'd be nice if I was getting paid to do all this work, but uh, well, I'm gonna st still keep on doing it for you, and for everybody who watches this, and hopefully one day I'll get paid for it, but anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, like, normally I I'd have, like, all kinds of automated things, but I still don't even have a mob farm in this world, and I, I still haven't even decided if I'm going to make one. It's not really necessary. I don't know. Like, uh, if we can keep using rockets to fly around, we're gonna need gunpowder. But, like, yeah, sugar cane, gunpowder, all of that I've been just doing manually. I don't know. Maybe if I built the automated systems, it would save me time. I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, I still want to, like, do pretty builds, because they seem to do well on the algorithm, and, and I get more views. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Just call me Captain Decisive! Ho oh ho! I think the dome turned out pretty good, though not exactly dome-shaped, though just how dome-shaped can you make something with square blocks? The answer is more dome-shaped than that, but, well... I think it's okay. 
Unfortunately, you can't really see it from the outside on ground level. Because, well, the nature of castles. But, yeah, it looks pretty cool from the inside, at least. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> I seem pretty good at this roofing thing. Maybe I should start my own company. Buster's Lids. You got a bowl, a hole, a structure smashed by a troll. We'll put a lid on that thing fit for a king. And low, low prices, too. Give or take a king's ransom or so. Ha <laughs> ha. Once I figure out whatever the hell is wrong with the damn sorter and uh, deal with all that, it'd be nice to finally get out of that damn villager house and have a nice orderly organized inventory. Haven't had much in the way of uh, orderly inventory so far on this server. And yeah, I just keep adding more and more chests and stacks around there just to keep all our crap in. So it'd be nice to, to finally uh, sort all that shit out and uh, have a nice base. So it's the next day and I fixed the problem with the sorting system. I still don't know what uh, caused the problem in the first place and I might never know but it doesn't matter because it's working now and I haven't had any troubles with it and I've started uh, sorting out uh, all the stuff from our uh, many many chests. Uh, I found that one of the uh, shocker boxes in the shocker box drop-off system had gotten stuck on the lip of one of the hoppers. So I replaced it with a barrel, which is a full block, which seems to have fixed that problem. And so far, everything is working fine. And here the build is finished. The dome from the inside and all that. And, uh, yeah. That's all I got for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Liking, commenting, and sharing the video all help my channel grow, but I'm not going to tell you what to do. What I will say is if you want to see more, subscribing alone isn't enough. Even the big guys have trouble with the algorithm not showing people when they have new videos and I'm still pretty small. So make sure to set that bell to all and uh, here's some more stuff to watch. And if you're interested, I even have more on my channel. Once again, thanks for watching.